Welcome to AI Simplified. Hey guys, welcome to my channel AI Simplified. In today's video, we are going to downgrade TensorFlow version 2.5 to 2.2. The problem that you will face is when you downgrade to 2.2 you have to also set up the CUDA because in the 2.5 library the CUDA comes as a initial setup with the library so you don't need to set it up. So TensorFlow 2.2 works with CUDA 10.1 and to set up CUDA library it might be difficult because you have to uninstall the existing CUDA and then reinstall it again. The installation process on NVIDIA website is not so easy. So, but I can show you a workaround of it and then can be, it can be like really easy to set it up. So stay tuned and let's start. First, I will show you the list of packages installed in this Docker. And if I do pip list, you can see here that the TensorFlow version is 2.5 and 2.5. We can also go to Python and see if it works. Import TensorFlow STF. And you can see it automatically opened the library 11.0 of CUDA. So now I exit it. Then I am gonna pip uninstall. Right TensorFlow. So as you can see, it has uninstalled everything, and now I'm gonna do Python again to see if it. So if I say it says it doesn't recognize any module named TensorFlow, and here we are going to do is again install tensorflow I will just clear the screen for you guys and here we are going to is again install tensorflow 2.2.0 so I have installed it in the past so I already have the now guys so now the package is installed we will do is I will clear the screen again and now I will go to Python to see if it works so if you do import answer flow answer flow stf and then it works but I also want to do is to test if the GPU are working. So if I say is GPU available. So it, here you can see that it's saying uh, no the could not it cannot load the dynamic libraries and it successfully opened library could not load dynamic libraries 10.1 so what we are going to do now is install the CUDA library but I but there is a like a very easy way to do is to just use conda uh, install minus C and then anaconda and then you say con sorry CUDA toolkit So I'm not do, going to the NVIDIA process. It's just it. Uh, Conda also have the library. You can specify the version and can use it. But there, there is a little bit problem with this that it doesn't in include the uh, libcode NN. You will just see in a minute if you do import answer flow. Answer flow STF and then you. Test your GPUs. Is GPU available? 
and then you see that it sucks it had successfully opened these libraries uh 10.1 everything but there is a lib cuda nn which is missing so the process of this is like little bit different you first have to update your apt but you can also use sudo apt update but i don't have sudo writes in this docker so i am just using apt update then you can use add apt repository epa dot graphic drivers it's graphics drivers so sorry about that and yeah you can do enter and it will just add everything and then after this you have to run some commands which i will add it in the description as well you can just copy paste them what what it's doing is just uh, it's adding the public keys into the apt key and then it is just adding these uh, nvidia developer download sets to the cuda list and cuda learn list and then after this you can just write apt install library cuda nn7 and it will just download the library it the process can be slow and fast depending on to on the internet connection in your device but yeah this is the commands that you can follow to just downgrade your tensor flow we will now check if it's working fine as soon as this is complete so this is complete and i will clear the screen again and go to python and let's import tensor flow as tf and then we have tf dot as that is gpu available and you can see that it has created tensor flow devices both so i have two gpus in the system and both the device 0 and device 1 is now attached with tensor flow and now you can have access it during your programming thank you guys for watching this video i hope you like this video please give give it a thumbs up and do comment if you have any doubts you can also message me if regarding some topic that you want me to create video on